Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, today we're doing zoo tours and today we are touring the Dutch Petting Zoo. This zoo is made by two creators, it's made by Jure and the Zoofluencer who is now known as Zoof. Uh, you may have heard them, you may have not. Their YouTube channel will be linked in the description down below so make sure you check that out. They have an entire series on this zoo as well so make sure you check that out as well. So it says this in the description. Finally, after a year of on and off building, the Dutch Petting Zoo is complete. Zoof and I would like to present the Dutch Petting Zoo. Drink your morning coffee and take that ride to our unique located petting zoo inside an old fortress. And you can see on the screen, it looks amazing. So guys, with no further ado, let's get into this video and let's tour this zoo. Hello guys and uh, welcome to the Netherlands. As you can obviously see, this is a uh, quite obviously Dutch. I mean, look at this beautiful windmill. We are starting at our Dutch petting zoo, obviously, which I just uh, read in the cinematics and the intro. And um, we're just going to start at this mill because I didn't really know where to start because this map is so big, which I will show you in a minute. But look, here we actually have the dingoes. And look, obviously, uh, you don't have dingoes in the Netherlands, but they can just pass it by, wild, by dogs. And we have dogs in the Netherlands. So this is their habitat. It is quite amazing. I love the way that they put uh, natural barriers. The elephant across and then some barriers behind there which is really cool and i'm not sure if you guys can hear all the noises but they made a really cute noise so they have this entire mill as their habitat which i feel is absolutely perfect i mean look at it i mean realistically they would be able to go inside through the door and the windows obviously but you can't do that in planet zoo let's just see if anything is inside no oh look it's actually turning Wow. Unfortunately, it doesn't turn on the outside, but it does turn on the inside, so that's something. And you have this beautiful water feature. I've actually um, been through most of uh, where this zoo is located in the Netherlands, so that's quite cool. So let's just zoom out for a bit and I will show you the map that we have. So we have this. This is our, you know, area. And this is actually the castle where the most of the petting zoo is located, I believe. Then you have some outbuildings. See another mill there. And we I started on, on this side because, you know, there's a spawn point here. So I was just, well, you know what? I'm just going to walk here. And walking here, it feels incredibly Dutch. Especially with bridges like this and windmills. And, um, you know, due to the pandemic, I haven't actually been able to go anywhere for almost a year. And now it feels like I'm actually going out in my own country, which perhaps it's kind of sad but it is the truth and I actually really like it and if I remember correctly the castle that we see there uh, let me just check yeah um, it is I believe uh, Slot Lufestein which is like a fortress also if I remember the surroundings correctly question mark I'm not entirely sure it's either uh, Lufestein or Matterstadt, one or two, but I believe it is Lufestein. Oh, but they have the entrance here. They didn't even see that yet, that's cool. So they've built it. Oh, this is, sorry, just in between. Look at this, this is so cool. This is a typical Dutch landscape. Let's just, yeah, you can't see the keeper, perfect. So, um, oh, they have a bike on top of the car, so Dutch. So it's either one or two, and I believe it is Lufestein. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, though, because I live very close to Muiden, and I don't recall it looking like that. Question mark. But now I'm doubting myself. Ooh, ooh, snack bar, Fritz van Piet. Wait, I recall this. Ah, oh, this is so difficult. Where do I want to go first? Let's just quickly scout this side because look that's so cool very confident it is uh, Lufestein if I'm not I'm incredibly sorry I keep forgetting it oh look at this so we have one of these big uh, container ships with actually terrain on top of the sand but look it's like it's sailing that's really cool <clears throat> also sorry my voice that's so cool let's just quickly skittle down this road skittle lady Boop. Because look, here we have a typical Dutch farm. But these rocks is so typical for what we actually have. And I can hear bisons, which obviously are uh, cows. 
This is so nice. I'm kind of jealous, obviously. And then the reeds roofs. And the bike. Ah, uh, you have the entire farm just as it is in real life. This is so cool. You can actually go in here, so I'm guessing this... Oh, I thought it was like a habitat. Oops. There you have the bisons, which obviously are cows. You know, they're representative of cows. It's a bit injured cow. And then the stables. Really, really nice. I'm not at all jealous. There's this beautiful landscape here. And then you have this little living, uh, well, fairy actually. You can go across the other side of the river, which is really, really nice. And then here, what I absolutely love, they've actually put, made um, meadows with more animals in here. I mean, look, there are more, which I absolutely love. Let's just see if there's anything at this mill. More cows. Oh my gosh, like the little buckets. It's kind of floating, but okay. Absolutely love it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna skip back to the beginning. Don't mind me, I'm just floating on. Ooh. Ooh. This is really pretty. I'm just going over the road very fast, or like hijack speeding. Ooh. It's me on my bike in the Netherlands. <laughs> Pew. There we go. We're going into the fortress now. As you can see, we have cannons, we have the Dutch flag. There's these beautiful lilies in the water. And we're going in, baby. Oh, look, entrance. Wow. Just wow. This little market place here. Ooh. I heard peafowl. Oh, I see peafowls as well. A little marketplace with tomatoes and oranges, bananas. Awesome. It's a little light. And then all the buildings here. That's so cool. And you have some shops. We have a gulpy and coffee. Obviously, we had pee files somewhere. Yeah, there's one. I love the way the benches are because that's so... I'm gonna say it again, but that's so Dutch. I don't know if they have it in other countries, but this is like a typical setup for the Netherlands. And I absolutely love it. I love, love, love it. With all the homes as well. This is so... Like, obviously, I'm proud of my country, but this just makes me even more proud. The fact that someone, or well, like two persons, built this. It's just amazing here with all the foliage. Obviously, we don't have elephants grass in the Netherlands, but you know, it's representative of. Ah, uh, yeah. oh, you can sit on the llama. We actually um, do that in circuses quite a lot. You can sit on the animals so they call you out and you just climb on them and then you can sit there. And in zoos, you have that as well. So you can sit on the statue and just look at them like that. And then, you know, I was always afraid I'd fall off, so I never did it. So here we have some llamas. Really nice. He's in dead, right? Oh no, he's moving, good. Really nice habitat, you know, quite simple, but I like it. It's really in style with the countryside. So now we are on, on top of the dikes, right? Because this is like elevated and this is lower than this is a dike. And we're just gonna walk across it. Some tons there, some barrels. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. I'm gonna screenshot that. Some rubble pieces. This is really, really nice. Also very typical, like in Germany, you usually have some uh, painting on here. In the Netherlands, we don't, so. <laughs> oh, with this, even the smoke coming out of the chimneys. You thought, you guys thought of all the little details. That's so cool. Well, like in this home, you even have windows in the back. Obviously these ones don't, but these ones do. And I absolutely love it. Ah, so cool, even a little fence so you won't fall over, even though in reality you can just like skip. So let's just uh, illegally walk here. <laughs> or the cannons, which I love the way you guys build this out of basic shapes. That's really cool. Obviously with the Dutch flag, paying an homage to my country. Might be the thumbnail, not quite sure yet. And then these cannons, they are so cool. And then here we are at the actual castle. We're gonna go there last because that's obviously like the big showstopper. But look at this, even with the, <laughs> the shaming thing. I don't know what's called in English. Why do you see looking at me? 
So cool. And then obviously on the other side, we have this beautiful Dutch landscape. And then we have some doll sheep. Uh, I just, I need to follow the path, man. This is so cool. I'm not even sure if this is actually a path or not. I'm just walking there. So nice. So here we have some sheep. Which is absolutely, I love this fencing. Very simple. But I like that, you know, it's not like um, over exaggerating a lot of items. It's just Dutch. <laughs> this is, oh, this is something you would see in the Netherlands. Oh, you even have palace gardens or castle gardens. And I see something roaming around there. Let's just, uh, oh, more dull sheep. Let's just go there. Let's, uh, ooh. Wild swines. Cool. I love this habitat. It's all the... I don't know what to call these. They're not shinkles, are they? In Netherlands we call them pens. Like in a pan which you cook in. This is really, really nice. Let's go in here. Obviously this is the back side of the car, so we're gonna go into the front in a minute. But we're stalling that. <laughs> Oh, this is really nice. I love the way you guys sunk in this uh, pit. It's really, really cool. More cannons. Actually, in uh, Naarden, which is also a, a city in the Netherlands, uh, with its own fortress. The city is actually a fortress. You have cannons, and then once a year they shoot the cannons as a memor memorial. Oh, look at these stones, paths. That's so cool. I wonder. Oh my gosh. That's so high. This is so cool. There's all the little doors in there as well to, to have like cargo in there. Okay, let's just. Uh, ooh, beautiful. Let's just go skippity skip to the beginning there. Oh, I like this so the animals can't walk over there because that's like a, a stock. What do you call that? I'm not quite sure. And the little windows and smoke again. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Now you are just standing here, which is a little bit weird. So you have like this shaming thing, which obviously is self-made, which is really, really clever. I was just wondering, like, do we have this in the game? Um, but we don't, but you guys made it, which is amazing. And then we have another shaming rod on the other side. I look at it, man. Look at these textures in here. With all the different shinkles and all the different types of pieces of rock. And then you have this bridge, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I haven't... Um, I followed some of the series on YouTube, not everything. So, um, I'm not quite sure what to expect inside. So, let's just uh, go. Go. Ah! That's stuff. Let's just... What if happens if we go up? I feel like I'm lost. Ah, okay, so there's the inside of the castle. So the castle itself, you know, it's a facade, which, um, to be quite honest, I would have expected that. Well, to be honest, I may have expected like an open area to have like a habitat in there, but it is very small. Like from the outside, it looks a lot bigger. <laughs> and I actually like the idea of having your stuff in there so you can't actually see it here. So I like the, the Animals would be all around. And then you'd have like all your staff facilities in the car, so that's actually quite nice. And I love the way there is it to roof. I mean, how did you do these are all individually placed? No way. So what is this piece? Ah <gasps> You've turned this around. Oh my goodness. That must have taken you so long. I mean, look at that. 2900 objects. That's insane. And I keep clicking on something. There we go. Well, the Dutch Panning Zoo, I have to say, um, oh, I love the back exit. Being Dutch myself, I may be a little bit biased, but this is absolutely amazing and it feels very Dutch. And I love, I'm, you know, I'm very patriotic, but I love the way that you have like the Dutch flag there. I absolutely love that. I just, I have to screenshot it again. I feel like that's so clever. Again, with all the little homes and everything, it is so typically Dutch. And then the Friet van Piet, which is uh, Friet, is the Dutch word for fries. So uh, chips, if you're from Britain. 
and it has three stars. Like, who is at the snack bar? Well, obviously I am. <laughs> you know, they're frying, they have frikandella, which is absolutely nice. And then they have this little big backstage area for that. And croquette, oh, I love that. If you know, don't know what that is, um, go to the Netherlands and order it from snack bar. Like, that's all I have to say, like, really. So guys, that was the Dutch Penning Zoo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and possibly subscribe to the channel. If you want to see the entire playlist of the Dutch Penning Zoo, I will be linking that in the description down below. So do make sure you check it out because it's really worth it. And uh, Zoof and uh, Jure did a really amazing job at it. So do like check them out and make sure you give the love that they deserve. That's all for now, guys, and I will hope to see you on the next video. Bye, guys.